Hello out there, night guy. Got another review coming up. We, uh, like I mentioned before, my previous uh, Kyber Bowie review, got a new box of weapons in. Very excited for that. Uh, here before us today, we have a black box special. Gotta love these. I don't know if you guys ever got any of these. These are definitely your flea market special. Um, most of these came from KC Edge. Um, I, I have quite a few uh, sword machetes already from KC Edge. And I love these uh, little sword machetes. Um, they're very, very, very inexpensive. Um, mostly made of stainless steel. Looks like they come out of some, you know, machine press with just a flat piece of steel that they cut into shape and uh, put an edge on it. And um, there you go. Um, normally, I wouldn't recommend stainless steel uh, being used in swords. However, um, mainly longer swords. It seems like, uh, you know, from what I've seen, you can definitely get away with using stainless steel. It, it tends to work very well. I've seen some high quality knives in stainless steel and machetes. So let's go right into unboxing it. I honestly can't remember which one is this one. I uh, gotta love that. Uh, you know, that's when you know you're just uh, getting a little too much ahead of yourself there. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and get this one opened up there so I can uh, remind myself what it is, you know? Can't believe I don't remember. <laughs> Anyhow, let's pull this one out. See what I have in here. Okay, yeah, this was the KC Edge. Um, let me see, what machete was this one? Uh, the Tomahawk machete. There we go, you see there? Tomahawk. This one I was really looking forward to. Uh, similar wrap design in all of them. You see there, little plastic wrap. Uh, comes with your standard preservative pack there. Uh, Anti-moisture pack. Anyways, this one I was really looking forward to getting out and using. Um, not a big fan of just machetes. Um, you know, I don't really care too much for stuff that only has a utilitarian purpose. Uh, but this one, um, I just couldn't deny, you know, kind of in that category that I like. Is it a sword? Is it a short sword? Is it a, a big knife? Is it a machete? Um, I would say it's kind of all the above, you know, it definitely has the qualities of a, a similar knife handle. Some would even say a messer handle. Um, there's not much, uh, as far as hand protection goes on this. Just a little guard there to kind of, I guess keep your your hand from you know riding onto the blade when you uh thrust in or, or do some work there um but look at the curve on this blade this is almost like uh what are those uh what do they call those with the forward curve uh cookery almost like a cookery um sorry seems like uh it's still rainy out here uh the weather isn't doing too well i don't know if you can hear me too well with all the rain in the background but anyways we're going to keep this video short um uh, back back to this uh, nice piece. Uh, this is like a cookery almost, you know? Um, and I'm really not the biggest fan of cookeries. Nothing against cookeries out there, if any of you guys are. Um, I do like them, but it was just not really a collection I wanted to get into. You know, I kind of try to stay with just the swords and machetes. Uh, mainly historically inspired, you know. Um, maybe I will pick up some more cookeries after this one. But we're going to see how this one does. I love that forward curve. And I think this is awesome because it kind of has two curves almost. You know, the curve on the blade and it curves forward, which should help in some good uh, leverage. You know, let me see. Yeah, get a good swing out of it. It has a nice forward curve. I think this thing's going to cut very well. Let's see here. Definitely uh, stainless steel. I have a XL1552 stainless steel handcrafted in China. Not really sure what that means. I don't know much about uh, steel ratings. But uh, this looks like a nice piece. Looks like it'll do some nice thrusting. It almost looks like it even is set up to make another edge here if you wanted to. Um, I'm not sure how often that's done. Need to do some more research. Anyone know if uh, blades like this are often, you know, bladed on this side as well? Let me know. Anyhow, let me know what you think uh, of this nice piece. 
nice little, you know, cheap sheath that comes with, little nylon uh, button and zipper, little strap for the back if you wanted to. I really, really don't have too much faith in these, to be honest. I got plenty of them. Um, but I do have some faith in this. Can't wait to get out there and do some cuts and uh, torture testing with it. Let me know if you guys want to see some reviews on this one. All right. Thank you. Thank you for joining.